I know I kind of talked through it at the end of the last episode, but uh, Kate, uh, Faith's sister, Kate, is maybe in trouble. Uh, so we're going to go find her. Kate, uh, Kate is a police officer. So at least she has a gun on her. She might be okay. But now at least we have a tangible objective in this game. We, uh, we have a reason to go forward as opposed to just doing some running. Which is all fun and good, and a good objective, but it's not the best. So we're trying to get to kind of the top of that building, I believe. We'll figure it out. Uh, I tried to roll there. I missed I missed it, or the game just didn't register it. I, it's hard to tell which one. Like, my timing is rusty, certainly. But there are also definitely times that the game is just like, eh, you know what? I don't really feel like doing what you, what you told me to do. And that's unfortunate, but it happens a often enough that you can tell it's not just you. And it's just too bad that the controls just aren't tighter. And they are in the sequel slash reboot in Mirror's Edge Catalyst. It controls phenomenally. It just has a lot of other issues. So there's our sister, and that guy looks dead. Kate? He looks very not alive anymore. What happened? Did you Why did she kill him? You don't recognize him? Did she kill him? I? It's Robert. Robert Pope? She did not kill him. She's a good cop. Unlike many we hadn't much in this, this he had a break awful society so they claim they don't ever actually really show us how bad things are they're just kind of like yeah runners they're not so good and since we're a runner we're like hey you're not so good it's really a he said she said kind of thing like this is the cleanest city i've ever seen allegedly crime doesn't happen except for the runners if the runners didn't exist then crime wouldn't happen at all now maybe they're are some reasons there's no crime, like fear of death and the constant watchma watching of everyone and everything. But you know, sometimes sacrifices have to be made. I'm not saying I support this kind of thing. I'm just saying, it seems to be working out okay. So this is the event that basically kicks off the real plot of this game. There has been a murder. One of the uh, political candidates has been shot dead. And it looks like Kate is being framed for it. We're going to take some evidence, which is very, very smart, because as we all know, the police doesn't need evidence to try to figure out who did a crime. We want Kate to just run away with us. Kate's like, nah, that looks even more guilty. She's right. And now we're going to run away, because that's what we do best. We didn't steal any evidence or anything. Well, there's that uh, hint thing I told you about earlier. We are not going to need it. I hope. If I need it, it means I've really forgotten part of this game, and that's that's going to be an issue. There are armed guards shooting at us right now. You, you may see some bullets. We may not even get hit, uh, if all things go well. I think I know where I'm going. This place is... It's kind of mazy. Now, I can't take that elevator. It's been blocked off, unfortunately. I remember when I first played this game, I did get lost in this area, and I died several times. Just because I didn't know where I was going. And now I'm just like, well, I know. I know where I'm going. Kinda. And we overshot it. And this time for sure. No, we overshot it. Alright, let's just climb up the lame way. Although that's still faster than the the suggested way. We spend a lot of this time in vents, by the way, if you haven't played this game and you don't know that. It's weird, actually, how much time we spend in vents. It's not like a lot of time at one time. 
Here's a really cool, cool visual scene. It's a slide down the side of a building as people shoot at us. So I think the helicopter is going to be here in just a second, if it's not already here. Like, that's just, that's just very cool visually. I actually, of all the things of this game that I really like, I mean, I like the running, obviously, that's the main core mechanic, but I really, really like the level design. I think the multiple paths you can take f through most of it is pretty cool, and the way it just kind of guides you to where you want to go, that's the problem with the sequel which they made open world for reasons that are beyond comprehension, except that open world games are popular, and therefore they wanted to make one. That doesn't work with this idea of a game. And it sucks because, like, the level design is really, really good on the actual levels. Like, you, you free roam to your objective, and then you start an actual, like, Mirror's Edge level. And those are great. The controls, way better than this game. It's tighter, you've got even more options for running. It's just, it's it's wonderful. And the actual levels are great. It's all of the stuff in between the levels that are, that are not so great. Also, I have never seen this before, but uh, we just got our first death, and it was not our fault. The game just glitched out. It did not let us through that door. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again, because, uh, that would suck. If this, uh, playthrough has to end here because of a glitch door, I'll be very upset. Okay, it looks good now. It wasn't even, uh, closed before. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I was just too quick for it to load, or if it was just gonna be glitched regardless. Uh, those guys just came out of that elevator. We're gonna go around them. They're gonna shoot at us. Eventually the bullet holes will appear. They're just scripted too. You can actually run straight through those guys, but it's really difficult, and not the intended way at all. But it's what the speedrunners do. There, There is definitely a way, I just don't know how to do it. There's also a really good way to just quickly build momentum, it's like doing a side turn. Which I don't do much at all because I'm not good at it. And it looks really silly if you mess it up, so... I won't be trying it much if at all. These guys still shooting at us. Oh, we got hit there, but it doesn't matter. Bullets don't really phase us. Unless we take a lot of them. There's some actual other people that are not villains. It, it's rare. You don't often see other people. You can glitch down here before it's intended, and you'll see them just walking. They won't interact with you. They're not programmed to do that. But it's kind of cool. Just walking through a plaza now. See, look at how clean all of this is. There's no trash, there's no nothing. I, I I, mean, I'm not saying that the totalitarian government is good. I'm just saying they're efficient. Oh, there's some trash. Someone knock a trash can over. I'm going to say yes. Because it was right by where a trash can was. There's some other stuff. There's been... There might have been some crime. Maybe things aren't as perfect as they seemed. There's a police officer, both on our left and our right. We are just going to run by them because they pose no threat to us. They just have pistols. Pistols in this game are minor annoyances. It's the big guns that really you got to worry about. The only time we're going to struggle with, uh, with enemies is when they've got pistols. Or not when they don't have pistols, when they have better guns than that. Sniper rifles uh, show up occasionally. They're not too terrible. It's the machine guns and the the heavy machine guns. I don't know my guns, okay? I don't know what all these things are called. The AR-15s and whatnot. Submachine guns? No, submachine guns are smaller. Hence the sub part, I believe. What are they called? Like Gatling guns? Mini Gatling guns? I think those exist in this game. I believe is what they're called. Hey, that was a really cool uh, scene where we just jumped through a bunch of glass. We didn't even die. Now we get another cutscene. Which some of these I'm seeing for the first time. Not this one, I don't believe. But like some of the ones later on, I literally would just skip. And just ignore, because I don't care. 
And it turns out I missed part of the story, skipping the story bits of the of the video game. I know that should surprise you. It should surprise me. But it doesn't. It actually is completely expected. Shocker. So yeah, now we're wanted because we did a bad thing, stealing the evidence. It was not the best idea, but it might give us a clue. As we all know, video game protagonists are much better than the police at solving clues, solving crimes, using clues to solve crimes. I can't talk. That's like three flubs this episode. That was some subtle imagery there. The Icarus thing. For those who aren't up on your mythologies. Jackknife? Who's that? We'll find out.